what's going on guys today I'm gonna to give you some tips on how to smoothly transition into overwatch because it's a bit different than uh, some of the shooters out there so let's begin by going to training and then practice range okay so there are some characters that are easier to use than others especially when you're first starting the best starting character in the game is soldier 76 we're all this guy is the physical manifestation of the default character. He has an assault rifle. Headshots do mean something. A rocket launcher. A self-heal that heals you and your teammates in the vicinity. And sprint. I say sprint because most of the characters in the game do not have the ability to sprint, which leads into my next tip is get used to not sprinting for the most part. There are plenty of workarounds, but until everyone gets used to the game and all the characters that enable this type of stuff, uh, just get used to walking slowly. It is purposely put into the game as a tactic to, to try and keep people from dying a lot. So you want some workarounds? Soldier is one of them. You don't even have to worry about it with Soldier. He automatically comes with Sprint. Another workaround, and also a great beginning character, is Tracer. Cheers, love. The cavalry's here. Now Tracer's pretty weak, but her movement ability is extremely fast, so if that's what you're used to, then she's a great starting character. But just know that she doesn't deal as much damage out as the others. She has the ability to blink, She blinks in any direction that the joystick is facing, not her herself, so you can actually blink backwards into the side. Her other ability is called Recall, so in case you get into a sticky situation and you need to back up, she goes back in time, giving you your health back and your bullets back into your magazine. Let's see that again. And the third character I recommend using as a starting character Justice is McCree. He has what's called the Peacekeeper, and this thing, if you're from Destiny, is the Hawkmoon and Last Word in one. It has single shot fire, which two shots to the head, just like Hawkmoon, and a fan fire. He also has a flashbang. Don't move. Very powerful, but not very much distance when thrown. Here's a tip for first time McCree users. If you shoot your gun, let's say somebody's rushing you and you fan fire, he has a combat roll that if you initiate after you empty your magazine, it'll instantly reload the gun. Let's see that again. Fire, roll, fire again. Which brings me to my next tip on reading the HUD. In case you don't know, the lower left hand corner, there are two representations of your health, the number form and the bar form. Underneath that bar is a flame with a blue dot blinking. That bar is simply based on your performance during the match, it has nothing to do with your health, just the above two. If you have any shields, they will appear in color, blue or or orange or yellow, something like that. On the lower right hand side is your weapons, magazine, and ammo. No, that is not reserve ammo because in Overwatch everyone has infinite ammo. That is simply how many the gun can hold and how much you have currently in your magazine. And then you have your abilities, such as the flashbang and the roll, both which have cooldowns. The cooldowns obviously vary from character to character and there's no way to change them. The circle on the bottom is what Overwatch calls the ultimate. Since I am a Destiny player, this is the super. For McCree, his is called Deadeye. It's high noon. Like sitting ducks. Oh yeah. And trust me, you can get a lot more locked on with that thing. For my next tip, you can change specific character control settings. Just go into options. Scooch over to controls, and as you can see, 
you can change the button correlations and layouts any way you want. However, this changes all heroes, not just the one. You hit the tab up top and then scroll down to the hero you want to change specifically. For instance, I highly recommend changing the controls on Farah because the default ones aren't really intuitive for controllers. It's more, I guess it works better for PC gamers. I recommend you switch the jump and ability one. You see, Farah has a jetpack that lets you hover above and shoot down rockets on your enemies. The thing is, she has this ability that literally launches her into the air and then another button to keep her hovering. Well, in reverse, you typically use the X button or A button to jump or hover, and then you use the L1 button to launch yourself in the air. So what I've seen a lot of people doing is launching themselves in the air and then immediately dropping down because they have the default controls. You can't aim and shoot at enemies down below with the default settings. But if you switch to two, where X launches you into the air and L1 is the hover ability, then you're able to do that. So I highly recommend changing the character settings specifically to your liking without having to worry about changing everyone's. Always get my friend. Now I'm going to go over the different types of characters in the game. As you can see, there is an icon to the left of each group. The first type are the damage types. They have fairly average health and are very aggressive. The second are the defense characters. These are the ones that can really change the environment, or hard hitters like Hanzo and Widowmaker who can sit back and just one-shot people with their weapons. Then you have the tanks. These are the ones that can get up close and take tons of damage. I mean, look at this guy. How can he not take the damage? And then you have the healers. Now, you may be thinking that, oh, healing sounds boring, but they totally are not. I've had the most fun with Mercy and Lucio. I've just been getting into Symmetra and Zenyatta. And I enjoy them both in their own ways. So I definitely recommend giving them a shot if you have some kind of bias against healers. So I wanted to give some workarounds for the whole not being able to sprint for most of the characters in the game. I just gave you two. Soldier, who has it built in and it's infinite, does not have a cooldown. And Tracer with her blink ability. One alternative is to use the healer Lucio. Come on, let's bring it together. Lucio has the ability to switch from healing to a speed boost that affects the entire team around him. And he can actually boost this effect by pressing oh, R1. This, is my jam. this in effect gives the entire team the ability to move really fast around the map. This is gonna and then he can better. always switch over to healing to help them out. Another workaround is Mercy. It's not exactly a sprint but it's super fast. See, she because she's a healer, she has the ability to dash at any teammate that she targets, especially one that's low health. Now, you don't want to dash towards a teammate that's behind enemy lines, because then you won't have any way to get away. But, let's say you are in the thick of it, if you turn around, and there's a teammate there, and you dash towards them, they just helped you get away. So this is another quick way to get around when it comes to not being able to sprint. Now let's move over to Winston. Imagination he can't sprint, but he does launch himself. Excuse me for it does have a bit of a cooldown, but it really takes you far. And it even allows you to go to the next level of some areas, which a lot, which a lot of characters just do not have. And I crush that robot. Well that's it for today guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to share, like, and subscribe for the occasional Overwatch content, because it's mostly Destiny content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.